Amazon CEO Andy Jassy out with his first shareholder letter just out this morning. He talks about the growth of the company's consumer business. It has been quite something. He writes, uh, quote, Amazon realized the equivalent of three years forecasted growth in about 15 months during the pandemic. In the last 24 months, Amazon doubled its fulfillment network. And yesterday, I toured one of these fulfillment centers just 15 miles south of Seattle with Alicia Bowler Davis, a senior vice president of global customer fulfillment. Um, and we took a look inside how this all works. What you see there is that's one of our robotic drives. And we have um, thousands of those in the building. And what they're doing is they're carrying a pod that holds inventory. And that inventory is moved to a, an associate who has a responsibility to either put inventory in different locations on the pod or take it out to fulfill orders. So I've always been fascinated by these. Yes. And partially because of the robots, but also because I always wonder, is there going to be a day when the robots are going to actually be able to pick the items out of the boxes themselves? Or do you think that it's our hands are just the dexterity that's required to do it is a human function? Yeah, I've been around robotics for a long time. So I am optimistic that there will be a day that robotics will have the dexterity that's needed to pick items out of the pods. There's so, there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of different items, different sizes, different weights. And so we'll see, but I do think technology will move um, to be able to help take some of those items, many of the items out of the pods. What's it done just, just, just efficiency in terms of pure output? I believe this facility at one point pre-Christmas had brought in over a million separate pieces of product in a day. And that's usually in peak, like during our peak period during Christmas. So right now we're also, um, we're on a robotic floor. There's actually some technology I'd like to show you here that's using artificial intelligence, uh, intelligence, machine learning, and vision that it's helping the associates determine where's the best spot to store the inventory. So there's items. computer vision, there's a camera there. That's it's happening inside of that little computer there. There's a, uh, there's a program that's running and once he scans it, it knows what the item is. It knows what's already in that pot. So it knows everything that's in that pot when that pot comes to the right. station. And then when he stores the item, it knows the size and the dimensions of that item. It has some idea of how much space is left in the open bins. Right. And then it gives them a location to store it at. So this is a great example of technology that we use to to help our associates uh, perform their standard work. And for him, this is almost gamified as well, if he wants it to be. Yeah, so we do have some gamified, um, we do have some gamification. We find that associates that participate in the gamification, um, they have better quality. Um, they seem to enjoy uh, the uh, work and, uh, and they're also working safely. What do you think the biggest misconception is about Amazon warehouses around the country as national debates about employment and labor? I think the biggest misconception is that our warehouses are not safe. And so I will say that with um, clearly saying we have more work to do. Um, however, we have in 2021 alone, we invested over $300 million in safety improvements. And that's capital investments, that's vehicle technology, there's technology that we've um, shown here, and we continue to make that investment. We're committed to improving the safety within our warehouses. When you come in this warehouse, our warehouses are clean, they're, they're orderly, and we work together as one team. I gotta tell you guys, going inside uh, that warehouse, it does give you a completely different perspective of, of what a warehouse even is in this day and age, how much technology is involved, you see a lot of the safety things that they're working on. Uh, one, it's a little tiny one, but it actually works. And over the last year and a half, they've implemented it. Um, if you, ha you have to wear a special kind of shoe. I don't know if we're going to have a, a shot of it, but it's a capped toe shoe because things could land on people's toes. They, they, they literally required everybody to wear those shoes, and now z zero problems. So Heel they're toe, literally yeah. they're going in a very systematic way uh, trying to, uh, to approach all of these different, uh, these different safety issues. And of course, they've been growing uh, and trying to train people. They've, they've added 300,000 new people uh, just in the past, what is it, two years now. So uh, it was a remarkable thing to see them put all that together. 20 football fields, they do a million, a million pieces of product in and out of there uh, in a day. And of course, that's just one of what are hundreds around the world.